Hey buddy, welcome back to another episode of Let's Go Pokemon Podcast. Like always, it's me, Brandon, alongside... Hey guys, it's Jay. We're here, we're live, and you guys missed it earlier. I scared Brandon because he thought I ran into a Deadpool spoiler, but it was something else. No, I thought you were good. No, no, no. It's, I thought you were about to put on on blast yeah. and tell me what it was. <laughs> like, you do not know how hard I have been trying not to get Deadpool and Wolverine not spoiled for me. Yeah. Like, I basically have not been on Instagram, TikTok, or Twitter this entire week. Like, and if I see something that could be potentially spoily, I literally freaking close the app, uh, open the app, close the app, open the app, close the app, open the app, close the app, like, three times. Yeah. Because that's how paranoid I am. That's why I cannot wait for, in one day, two hours and 35 minutes. That's whenever we'll be in the seats watching the movie. And, like, and after that, like, I think it's... Two hours or two or th- two hours and thirty minutes one time I think. Hmm. After that, so, so basically around midnight or one o'clock, I can take a deep breath knowing I have not got a movie spoiled for me. Although there is one thing I got, I think I got spoiled. What? Well, I don't know if it's technically will be spoily or not because mm-hmm. I think it was revealed in a trailer, like the last trailer. Mm-hmm. I think this thing got revealed. I. So I'm not sure if it is real or not. Hmm. So I don't want to say what it is because I kind of wish I don't know what it is because I, I kind of don't know what it is, but I kind of know what it is. Yeah. Because I haven't seen the final trailer, but everybody's talked about it and I've been trying to avoid it. Especially because I think tonight or yeah, maybe it was last week was the Red Carpet premiere and people are you know, watching it today because of the yeah, it, midnight yeah. release. Yeah, yesterday was the record okay. um when it comes to like like to like the deadpool uh i have not seen anything but like the teaser trailer or like the first trailer and that's about it which is surprising because i have not come across any new any of the new trailers i mean i was you gotta look at the ads the ads are amazing the only ads i've seen is the one for heineken heineken then you had deadpool go, showing up at the euro stealing the ball and then some other stuff but that's enough about Deadpool. Let's get on to the Spotlight Hours. So the last Spotlight Hour for the month is going to be Togedemaru, who, is gonna, who can be shiny now with the bonus of times to catch Stardust. Nice. And Jay has not got a shiny Togedemaru yet. No, his luck, he'll have it by Sunday. It's okay to, it's okay to be mad. I mean, you, you, I mean <laughs> what, you got, besides the shinies we got for Community Day last week, you yeah. got a shiny Articuno. Yeah. And then uh, our radar is going to be Tinnitus and Carnate form who can be shiny. You actually you know, funny enough, the two shinies I have of that Pokemon are trades for me, and I didn't realize it. I had two of them. Mm-hmm. So now I have two lucky traded ones to me that are both shiny. Nice. I didn't realize I had one when I did the second trade, so now I'm like, well. What to do now? Yeah, everyone, like, I got two shinies. That's all right. We are currently in the middle of the Ultra Unlock Strength of Steel, which will run into Tuesday, July 30th at 8 p.m. your local time. The event bonuses are going to be the following. Extra XL candy for trainers that are 31 and above. Extra candy for nice or better throws. And three times catch Stardust. Uh, yep. uh, times three uh, catch Stardust and candy, I think? Or is yeah, it just candy. Stardust? Because I, I, I have both on this. I don't know oh. if I'm in, like... Uh, I need to check that effects because I don't know if I just like you know, out of force of habit, put both on there or just like you know, oh it's only one of these. Mm-hmm. Let me check that real fast for everybody. And can I get a drum roll, Joy? Joy? Yeah, it's just time to catch Stardust mm-hmm. uh, for catching, not candy. Our uh, wild encounters, Jay. Our uh, wild encounters are going to be the following. We're gonna have. Alolan Sandshrew, Magnemite, Pineco, Nosepass, Aeron, Beldum, Bronzor, Ferroseed, Galarian Stunfisk, Togemar- Togedemaru, which all can be shiny. And if you're lucky, you can encounter Onyx, Scyther, and Skarmory, Clink, who all can be shiny. For our one-star raids, we have Skarmory, Clink, Ponyard, Togedemaru, who all can be shiny. In our three-stars, we have Steelix, Scizor, Mawile, Aggron, who all can be shiny. And then in our Megas, we have Mega Agron. Okay, so, uh, you know, as per usual, we do have event-themed uh, field research tasks. And there is one uh, that that will uh, guarantee you Toga Tomorrow encounters. And uh, he, here's the ones you're going to keep your eyes uh, peeled out for. 
catch 10 steel types, explore 2 kilometers, and power up a steel type 5 times. Let's see, we have, uh, yeah, I think that'll be it for that one. And then let's see here, evolve 3 steel types, that'll get you 25 steelix mega energy. Catch 15 steel types will get you beldum uh, and clink encounters. Mega energy is going to be steelix, scissor, and agron. Now I got. Can we go back to the to the uh, raids real fast? Sure. So honestly, if you're gonna do three star raids, Agron is not worth it. Do the Mega one because you're gonna. Get, cause I'm ninety five percent sure that you can get that you won't get the Mega energy from the regular Agron raids. I could be wrong on that. Mm -hmm. But I think it's just better to get the make sure you get the Mega energy through the Mega raids and all that. And also, Ponydeo has an evolution that's not yet available in the game. I mentioned this because we've been slowly getting introduced to the uh, evolutions that have been introduced in Pardea. Like, we got Annihilate in the game. We got... What's another one that, one that we got introduced to recently, Jay? Mm. What's another one we got, that, got, that we got introduced to? Uh, what's it called? Who was it? Who, who was the evolution? Uh, I forgot what it was called. It's the... Uh... Not the mouse one. The mouse one, that's a, got uh, no, no, part no, of no, Pokemon. No, not that. Uh... Oh, I can't think of it. It's a Gen 2. No, Dun the Dun Spot's not in the game yet. No, is it? No, no not in the game yet. Oh, I thought, you were talking, I thought we were talk, talking about just mainline. No, 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 no. no. Uh, okay, no, I redacted my statement. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's the only got, uh, evolution we got for a Pokemon that was introduced... Or an evolution that was introduced in Pardea from a pre-existing Pokemon. Mm hmm but yeah, if you, you that's gonna come out at some point in the game. So if you get a Shundo or like a Hundo of Pondio, maybe wait. Like, oh, maybe if you want to have like you know the full evolution line, maybe try to hunt for that now. So you know you just have it ready to go. Yeah. Now our, we're gonna have a time research that will get us uh, Magnetic Law XP and encounters with Eventium Pokemon. There's also a collection challenge that's going to give you Mega Energy for the Steel Type, Stardust, and Encounters of Steel Pokemon. And what is this Saturday, Jada? I don't think neither of us can do because we're both walking that day. I mean, maybe me a little bit, but I don't know about you. Okay, let's see. Let's, let, me, let me go back up. Okay, so this Saturday, July 27th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. local time is Mega Lucario Raid Day. Ooh. Our event bonuses are going to be Mega Lucario will be pretty more, more often in the Mega Raids. Get up to five free raid passes from gyms. Increased chance to get a shiny Lucario. There's also going to be a 1.5 uh, times uh, raid XP. Increased chance to get rare candy or XL candy from in-person uh, raid battles. The remote uh, raid limit will be increased to 20 from Friday, July 26th at uh, 5 a.m. And ending that... Uh, Saturday, July 27, 8 p.m. PDT. And then the feature attack, let's see, Lucario encountered in, in the raids will know the fast move, Force Palm. And there will be a event ticket that will cost 5 USD. The bonus will be in effect from Saturday, July 27th, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. local time. Eight extra raid passes from spinning gym stops. Increased chance to get XL candy from raid battles. One guaranteed XL candy with catching Lucario. There's going to be triple XP. Uh, from raids and then double star this from raids. No, oh, not bad. Are you working this Saturday? Um, uh, no. You you won't find out till tomorrow. No, it's uh, no, I'll tell you here in a bit. Okay, yeah, because I know I'm working on Saturday, mm -hmm. but what my job's at is to uh, there's two uh, stops, so I can easily do this if, if I have time. Mm -hmm. That's the key thing. If I have time. But anyway, we're about to be into a new month. And like always, Niantic likes to tell us what's going to happen in a new month. So in the raids, until a third, we're going to have Tornadus, who can Tornadus incarnate form, that's the genie one, or the one on the cloud, who can be shiny. Then from the third to the twelfth, wait, did I say August, right? Yeah, I said August. Yeah. And then from the third to the twelfth, there's going to be Mortress, who can be shiny. Then from the twelfth to the twenty-first, there's going to be Thunderous, who incarnate form, who can be shiny. Then the 24th to September 3rd is going to be Zonius, who can be shiny. Mega Raids until the 3rd, it's going to be Aggron. Then from the 3rd to the 12th is going to be Aerodactyl. The 12th to the 24th is going to be Kangaskhan, which is awesome if you guys have not 
got King is Kong because technically that one is almost always uh, Australia, New Zealand uh, regional, right? Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah, like that area of the world is that's it's regional. So unless it's like it's a sort of invent or like the Mega Raids, you can only catch it. So if you're somebody that's newer to the game is trying to collect the, uh, trying to do the 151, I think is we, the the challenges that we try to have are the Pokemon and the Pokedex. That one's gonna be good for you. Then from September 24th to I mean now from, then from August, yeah August 24th to September 3rd is gonna be Mega Salamence in the raids. What are our spotlight hours for August, Jay? Okay, the following are the spotlight hours for the month of August. Starting off on August 6th, we have uh, Drillbur, who can be shiny uh, with the bonus of a double catch XP. August 13th is going to be Lilip, who can be shiny with a bonus of double catch candy. August 20th is Mankey, who can be shiny with a bonus of double transfer candy. And last last but not least, we're going to have Magnemite, who can be shiny with a bonus of double uh, evolving XP. Nice, nice, nice. Very Wait, nice. Lilip? Yeah. Oh no no that's right. No no okay you said Lil Leap. My mind went to Lillipup mm. for some reason. The L and the, and the yeah, L and the P. Yeah, it's probably the Lil. Yeah yeah yeah. That's what made me think of Lillipup. I was like, wait, that doesn't sound right. Is that right? Hmm. All right. So some other events are going to be happening in August. It's going to be Adventure Week from Friday August twenty. I mean August second at ten a.m. to Monday August twelfth at eleven fifty nine p.m. your local time. Mega Rayquaza Elite Raid Makeup Event will be on August 3rd at 1 p.m. and 6 p.m. your local time. The Adventure Week Takeover, which is going to be the Team Rocket Focus portion of it, is going to be from August 8th to the 11th. Uh, Shadow Raid Weekend is going to be the 10th to the 11th, which I think, unless they introduce another shadow, I think August Shadow is going to be Suicune. Mm -hmm. Then the Pokemon World Championship and the Go Battle Weekend. Is going to happen August 16th to the 20th. Community Day Classic is going to be August 18th from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. your local time. What's the last two? Okay, so uh, the last two uh, tidbits are going to be, uh, let's see, there's another event called Triumph Together starting from August 23rd and ending on August 30th. And last but not least, hey, you guys ready? You better hold on to your seats. Uh... It was just announced that Popio will be getting its community day on August 31st from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. your local time. It's, Very nice. So you, that's all the loading ones. So yeah. now we're now. probably going to have a... So it's going to be, let's see, September is going to be a random fan favorite Pokemon. Mm -hmm. And then maybe October too. And then what I think would be awesome for them to do, yeah. if they decide to do it this way... Is have for the first time in a long time, at least to my to my recollection, have a shiny poke have a Pokemon debut with a shiny form during a community day, and that will be the first Ga uh, Galarian starter, Gookie. Yeah, it'd be nice if we can have Gen Eight starters up in here, but Wait, you well, know. See, here's the thing: I feel like that would be an awesome way to introduce them yeah. by the community days, because like a I think it's been a long time since us as a community has had a Pokemon debut during a community day and also have a shiny debut during community day because let's face it, um, uh, I think Tynamo, uh, if I can remember correctly, mm -hmm. well, not including the Stardust because the Stardust shinies almost always get revealed during the go f during the uh, um, community day. Yeah. But we haven't had a Pokemon debut during community day in a while. No. But let's see, because like Tynamo, it shiny was originally forced to release. Uh... Oh, wait. What's up? I'm, I'm mistaken. July was actually its shiny debut. I thought it was already out before then. No. No. I don't think. So. Yeah, no. Yeah, I okay, guess so I'm wrong on that. Uh, as you would say, egg on my, my face, I guess. Yeah. Because we had, okay, so I guess that one then, you know. We had June, which we, um, which was Gumi, which was released last year. May was May was Litten. Mm -hmm. No, no, May, uh, no, wait, no. May was a uh, Bonsui, which am I just wrong on this? And I'm just like, 
everything's just wrong together and I'm mistaking? Mm, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I'm mistaken. Yeah, so it hasn't been a while since we've got a new shiny on q and day. I think that may have been like a year ago, we just kept on getting shinies that were already released, you know, as community days and all that. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you had Gassy, you had Magma, Electabuzz and all that. You had the Geodudes, right? Geodude had community day, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, we had those for a while. It kind of seemed like that. I guess I didn't realize it. Then again, some of those I haven't been able to play, so maybe that's why. Now, before we end the episode off, Jay, you know what today apparently marks? What's that? The Zygarde being introduced in the game, or the Zygarde cells being introduced, or both, I think, being introduced into the game. Huh. Yeah. And then, you know, there's some discourse about, like, you know, some people don't, you know, like, it's a little hard for some people, and I get it, to get a Zygarde cells, and, you know... Some people don't think it was implemented, uh, uh, implemented in a, implemented in a way that a lot of people knew, or implemented in a good fashion. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah, I can see that, especially because whenever Rats were, uh, Rats were, Rats got like you know, released and all that, they were buggy. Like you had that weird bug having to you for a while on the routes. Yeah. But I want to take. I want to look real fast. What are who are you at and your Zygarde uh, s- cell collection? Uh, hold on. Let me, let me catch a Skarmory real quick. I am at sixteen. I was going hard on the on the on the routes for like a good, good like I think month or like a good three weeks. Then I forgot to do it. I think you even less than me. Y- yeah. <laughs> let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. Four. Damn, you were right. Oh, wow. I actually did not see your phone when you, when you started doing that. Yeah. But so now you're only 96 away from getting a, a Zygarde 100%. Mm-hmm. I am 84 away. Huh. Yeah, so like, okay, so since it's been a year, do you think there's a way they, they should improve the Zygarde cells? Um, or improve the routes? Maybe make it easier for people to create routes and all that. Like, lower the level required to create a route. Yeah. Or the requirements um, for, like, a route to be a thing. Yeah, I think they should change up the requirements on to create creating a route. And then, uh, I know I know the whole incentive is, you know, finding Zygarde cells through routes and then... Stuff Going like, outside and all that. Yeah, all that good stuff. But I feel feel like there should, should be some more... Other uh, methods to get it? Other methods, yeah. Like, if you're doing a route and if you spin a stop during a route, there, it should give you, like, a route-specific uh, research task while you're doing the route that can reward you with a Zygarde cell. That, okay, I'm not going to lie to you. That's honestly a genius idea. Yeah, because it, 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 it'll... Yeah, Cause cause yeah. That, that'll be the incentive to get more people to go out and try to, you know, get you know get more Zygarde cells. That way they can fully power up their Zygarde. Because I'm going through this so fast, uh, this article by Pokemon Go Hub. I'm trying to remember. Because if I recall correctly, mm-hmm. um, it's not guaranteed that you'll get a Zygarde cell on a route. Yeah. But. Yeah, like, you know, as as with everything that's all Pokemon Go, it will be all RNG. So, yeah. Not, not surprised right there. But, you know, some people, they need to be reminded that, you know, it will be RNG. Yeah, and like, you know, unfortunately, maybe some people, like, they just don't have routes in their area and all that, mm-hmm. or they're not high enough level to create routes. Yeah, and then if, you know, they sh- and then also, like, not not even, um, not even in, in, like, while you're doing a route, but they should also, you know, and just in general implement, you know, a, a you know, research research ta- task or two will, it will, will reward you with, you know, uh, you know, Zygarde cells, you know. Like, like I just said earlier, but maybe like maybe like if you do that, have have that be a super real one. Yeah. Or have that one that's uh would take you a while to or quote unquote take you a while to finish. Yeah. Like you know maybe it would be like walking, fifty kilometers or maybe catching, x amount of Pokemon. Yeah. Which, see, I was gonna say that, but like you know on community days, I mean that could be easy. But like you know I'm not saying it has to be super difficult, but something like you know, 
Well, uh, see something here. that's like you know doesn't just I, at least for me personally yeah. something that doesn't that, basically spoon feed it to you that, now I mean I, catching that, a hundred Pokemon that's gonna take you a minute I'm not saying that's easy but, yeah. you know I feel like that um that's I feel like that's a little easier like, yeah, that, you know, that or you know get or you know yeah like ta- catch uh, research tasks but with you know with you know specific type of Pokemon you know like since uh Zygarde is a Dragon Ground type you know it'll it can be from you know catch X amount of Dragon Pokemon or catch X amount of Ground type Pokemon that way you can get some uh, either Zygarde candy cells or XL candy. Oh wait, oh hold on, let's see. So, da, 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 okay, they actually said the research one and that thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, blah blah because like they're talking about like how what they think they uh, could be done to for some uh, included. Like I'll I'll go over the article. The article was made by um Spinda Spin Spin Diana Spin Diana. Yeah. Uh, the Zygarde problem one year later. This is made uh a Pokemon Go hub. Let's see blah blah, blah. going through the article. Let's see. Let's do it. Like let's see. I think this is a. Uh, has channels evolved it or uh, why not? Like, let's see. Now they're talking about some issues. Like, firstly, first, Zygarde is not a raid Pokemon, so it's not as strong interest to someone who primarily raids and really does trainer battles. That's true. Without much meta relevancy, there isn't much motivation to grind that cells. Secondly, I have been holding out for some other way to obtain cells. I've been waiting for a way to walk for cells. I feel like if you have Zygarde as your buddy, it should produce cells. That would be a good way to do it. Oh, yeah. that Oh, that'd be nice. A rare drop from gifts or a rare research task, like you said. But mm-hmm. but you made it was so intertwined with the route method yeah, that they introduced. I mean, yeah, it could be either that or, you know, just, you know, and, uh, you test your luck and hopefully you get it when you spin a start. Cause I, I, yeah, because I think there's only been a couple of times where I've done a route and it hasn't spawned. And I've literally backtracked the route and gone forward to try to get it to spawn mm-hmm. dent. Another research quest line, that's a good one. An event reward sales. Literally anything to help, but it's not not been forthcoming. Let's see, I resigned myself to having to do it the long way. It's a shame that sales are not guaranteed. Okay, yeah, they're not guaranteed. And are hard uh, capped at being rewarded from three routes per day. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, but anyway, like I I this I there should be, I think, I feel like there's a lot of creative idea, and I feel like with us, you know, the Pokemon Go Hub, or like with Spin Diana and all that, mm-hmm. we should have can find other ideas on how to do it. Or if Zygarde finally gets introduced into the raids, have that be our way to get um, Zygarde cells. Which I feel like they're going to have another Zygarde-based event when Pokemon ZA comes out sometime in 2025. Great, great, granted, I think it's going to be more towards the later half of 2025. I almost said, take it for granted too. Like Rick, like yeah. Morty did, like Rick did in Rick and Morty. Yeah. But I saw myself halfway through. I don't know if you caught that. No. Yeah. But I don't know. What do you think? Uh, I mean, that, I mean, I could see that happening because it's Niantic and, yeah. you know, they like to do certain uh, things around based around, you know, you know, new Pokemon games coming out. Like, you know, when the Gen 4 remix were coming out, they had, you know, the uh, the Gen the, 4 event. The, the, yeah, the Gen 4 event with, you know, starters wearing the protagonist's hats. Which I think was the second time they've done that, too, I think. Yeah. And then so. you had Sword and Shield of them introducing Gen 8 Pokemon into the game and us having and Dashian and Zamazenta added to the game, but not yes. the Stardust. I yeah, they had the audacity to do that, but and they had, they had the audacity to introduce the Gen 8 legendaries, but not put in the starters. How I mean, dare they? They didn't do that with Scarlet and Violet, though. They did the opposite. Well, kind of. I don't think the Scarlet and Violet Pokemon or Stars were introduced until the new season after the games were released. Yeah. But we, but we got like some other Pokemon from them, but we still haven't got uh, the, the, the legendaries, which is the opposite of Gen 8. I just realized yeah. that. In which, you know, that's one thing I still won't forgive Niantic for. Like, how dare you? I'm just trying to, I'm trying to get my, my sad lizard. Yep. Anyway, you guys, that's it for the news for August and for the remainder of July. Let us know what you, uh, let us know what you guys are excited about, what you think of our, of our ideas and spend Diana's ideas to get, um, more Zygarde cells. Zygarde cells. Thank you. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, until next time, you guys have a good one. You guys can follow us at Let's Go Pokemon Podcast on Instagram. Let's Go Pokemon Podcast on YouTube. Let's Go Pokemon TikTok on TikTok. 
And let's go Pokemon Podcast, whatever podcast I've podcasted it. Until next time, you guys, have a good one, and good luck shining hunting this weekend. Yep, and happy raid day. Oh, yeah.